and I've once been called Minister for Optimism and Constitutional Affairs. I want to claim that title because I am optimistic that for the first time in 20 years, we are going to produce a new constitution. His firm grasp of legal matters was an added caveat to his rich portfolio that granted him a seat above his peers, as it were. As a legislator, he was very vocal about Kenya being a signatory of the Rome Statute and the involvement of the International Criminal Court, often making it very clear his legal assessment. If Kenya dares withdraw from the Rome Statute, and international crimes are proven to have occurred last year. That's why I say stay in Kenya, don't set foot out, even if you are a journalist. My plans are local tribunal, one. Two, local tribunal. Anybody who wants to guess three? Local tribunal. May God bless you. The former Makoweni senator was in the spirit of the constitution, keen on matters relating to integrity and still on matters of The Hague. He often rubbed shoulders with his colleagues, unapologetically so, for his firm stand that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto, then contenders under the Jubilee Coalition, should not vie. <laughs> mtu ambaye ameshitakiwa na ma, maofu kuhusu binadamu anaweza kupatiwa kiti hicho cha kusimamia binadamu mimi sijasikia jambo kama hilo hayo ni maoni yake ambayo kikatiba ako na uhuru wa kuwa na maoni kama hayo e, kuna wengi mimi nikiwemo ambao niko na maoni tofauti whichever way my campaign is not built around the ICC my campaign is built around an agenda which i have and a vision which i have for the country called Kenya i consider it the height of impunity to appear to be taking a court of law for granted and to be just stamping and saying irregardless. But it wasn't a preserve of the presidency alone. If you were suspected of anything, the gospel according to Mutula Kilonzo was pretty clear. I'm also targeting real integrity so that never again should a president and a prime minister or president and another key official be debating as to who should be suspended and who should not be suspended. It ought to be automatic if uh, your name is mentioned adversely in circumstances that suggest there is some prima facie, we call it, some smoke in the matter, you step aside. Mutula Kilonzo would take his unwavering stride to the education docket never shying away from consultation and negotiations, yet remaining the gentle enforcer, as it were. We are warning any person intimidating the teachers through threats that it is not acceptable and we will not allow it. And it is over. They must go back to class, I'm sorry. This order must be complied with. Somebody is earning Two million. a big, a huge Two club million. of Kenyans, one million and above, two million, three million, and the peanuts of the members of parliament, 850,000, and they call it peanuts. So what we are earning is simsim. The things that divide us are so little compared to the so many things that uh, require that we work together. Still in the docket, Kilonzo's soft spot for children showed, often doing all he can to make sure they are on the straight and narrow mode of dressing notwithstanding. Why are you dressing a schoolgirl like a nun? What do you have in mind? This would be the last ministerial docket he held at the helm of education. He worked for the Wiper Democratic Party and everywhere he went he took the law as his anchor. You will be subjected to nomination like all other candidates. Yes. And, I want to, and I want to promise you that it will be free, fair, and transparent he was at the nucleus of the court petition on the 2013 elections at the Supreme Court, a special petition for him where Kenya got to see Mutula Kilonzo, the father, through his proud daughter, Kathy Kilonzo. Parliament has enacted 256 laws, as the former Minister for Justice will tell you. And he's here. Mutula Kilonzo will be remembered as a light of Kenya, a man who stood on principle and through it has taken a seat as one of Kenya's great legal minds and prolific politicians.
sasa hivi au kujina sio aha sasa hiyo sio kazi yangu kujitoa au kuji ku... kazi yangu ni justice yani ukweli wa lot of time but if i don't tell you these things i don't know who else will and above all because my voters when i go to rallies like today i ought to be in the field campaigning so when i go and tell them i uh, when i told them i was coming to court to give evidence today they said ah waziri wacha hii kitu senator rather wacha hii kitu forgive and move on so that is, i have performed a function advised by the public and my own family i'm actually going to delete the messages because i have saved the messages for purposes of evidence so i'm going to delete them how how si jawa samehe bado manake si wajui mama huyu hapo tuambia ni nani alimsaidia manake lugha iliyotumiwa na vinu ambazo zilitumiwa ni ni kumchunguza msichana huyu sidhani kwamba ni yeye alikuwa ana anaanzisha maneno kama haya lakini hata hivyo mimi nataka kuendelea mbele bwana ni wa senator wa magoe sawa sawa hakika mapendekezo ya wananchi ni kusema kwamba sio mimi tu ni watu wengi Kenya ambao wanatishwa kupitia simu isipokuwa sasa sasa hivi miezi juzi imepunguka kidogo lakini watu wananiambia kwamba wanatishwa kila wakati na mimi naomba tu serikali ichukue hatua kuhakikisha kwamba hizi simu ambazo tuko nazo hazitumiki kwa jambo kama hilo kutisha watu washtua na wakati mwingine hata ku kuwatetemesha mno kawa mtu hawezi kulala ukiambiwa kwamba unakuja un, mtu anakuja kwa kichwa chako inakuwa jambo gumu mno na kwa hivyo mimi namuuliza mkuu wa mashtaka pamoja na polisi wachunguze mno na wahakikishe kwamba kila namba ya simu ya Kenya inajitokeza